Hey ya folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play Factorio, the experimental .17, I think .52 build we are on today. And we're working on a rocket launch. We actually have most of the things that we need. The thing is, you know, a lot of this is sort of dawdling. The thing is, you can go to a rocket launch um, a lot easier than I, or a lot faster than I was doing, but I mean, who doesn't love the, like, big, giant, mega base stage of Factorio? It's just it's just gorgeous. And I mean, I love the train stuff, so... Um, but anyway, we are going to go ahead and hook up. We need our low-density structures is the final basic ingredient for the rocket silo. Uh, so the rocket, the low-density structure is a little different because it does need three different things in here. You need copper, steel, and plastic. So I'm actually going to have to run another belt over here. Um, let's give it a two-gapper because that makes it easier just to run undergrounds through this should the need arise. And here. So copper, steel, and plastic, right? Um, maybe I'll just... Hmm, actually, all this is going to be a little tricksy to get through, unfortunately. Uh, but I guess that's just going to be the way that it's going to have to be do this and then throw you underground and then for the plastic split you off there and then I guess you don't have to go underground you could just continue this way and that's okay um, unless no I think I want separate runs I, I was debating maybe merging these together but we might need to scale up our low density stuff so let's just do this for now uh, no! Ah, wrong button. There we go, pick that up, thank you. And then the plastics. And then for the copper, that, 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 underground to here, like that. All right, good. Wow, that's a longer walk than I thought it was. Okay, and... Slip underground here. And let's actually bend this way immediately. Like that. Go underneath this. Excellent. Go over here. Oh! So hold on, I'm going to have to make a change. I copy and pasted things, assuming that the recipe would be similar to the previous ones, but that ain't the case. So we have to get rid of this because... Oh, and a little more. There we go. Because we have to leave room for two separate things. We will merge things up here, but I want to make sure to bring up the full saturated belts into our rocket assembly area. So yeah, we'll have to run a pair like that. And... I guess like that. Grab, copy, copy, copy or paste rather, I should say. All right, something like this. Are you really not connected to anything? There you go, stop blinking at me. Um, so what I'm gonna do here merge these two together like so do you need like a ton of material oh you actually do need a ton of copper plates only one per second which isn't too bad um but that actually means that running the copper plates on the close one is the way to go so we'll split this and get you up in here keep you going this way hop through there i guess you can just oh no you can't for some reason, I thought that wasn't going to hit there. Uh, so, we'll do, let me trim this back a scooch, actually, instead of going to the closest possible one. And like that. Okay, good. That's flowing. And then, yeah, the other side of this, because you're just going to come up this way. Okay. 
We may have to um, make this blue or something. At least the, the inputs to the system. We'll see. Uh, no, wrong way. Like that. Like that. Grab you. Paste. 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 So, yeah, you're grabbing. And yeah, you're going to start to assemble a backlog of this stuff, and it does take 20 seconds. So yeah, actually, I think we're going to have plenty of copper in here, because the production time is fairly long. Why are you not producing anything anymore? Or no, you just produce very slowly, don't you? And I did set up the second line here. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm not going to be able to do line lane balancing, but we'll just go ahead and do this, just because there's not enough room for the lane balance. Uh, but we'll do that. It'll leave a couple of, like, deadbeats over here. I mean, I suppose I could do this. This, oops. This really won't balance the lanes, but at least it won't leave any deadbeats behind. Oh. A rail signal there. And I guess only one side is being fed with stuff. Right. I was going to say, how come only, you know, half of this is working? But that would explain that. Okay. Done, done, done. Rocket fuel being made a little bit faster. Not that I know that it, you know, we necessarily need that much more, but we'll see. Um, so we'll pop up here and then this way. And then what I'll do is I'll cross here because it's getting a little tight in the other area. Let's have you come over here. You can see my poor bots still trying to construct all of our... Uh, concrete bits there. Load you in. Get a little power in here. Do I have anything on me I can dump? Yes, I do. And there we are. Done! So, you're waiting for cargo. You need... Oh, you need rocket fuel as well. Um, it might not be a bad idea to get some of this into the logistics network, just based on the fact that I think our trains and stuff could burn off the rocket fuel. Oh, that's low-density polymers. Something is being attacked somewhere, but let's try not to stress about aliens, because F those guys. Done. Excellent. Okay. So there's our satellite going to be built, and that's coming near to the end, so we'll be able to launch real soon here. Uh, yeah, that is slow, huh? Yeah, we're definitely going to want to duplicate this. Is there a way? Yeah, there is, actually. Yeah, because I can do this. And that, there we go, to balance that, that's going to be okay. And yeah, I don't think the inputs are actually going to be stressed that much. Uh, what I'm going to do here is split you this way. Um, it'll be a little awkward. Okay, a lot awkward, actually. Oh, what if I just split you... That's the same thing I was doing there. Um, okay, hold on. I can do this. So if I do that and that, and that goes there. Over to here. And we'll need to do some underground stuff here, but that's okay. So there, and another one over there. Grab that. Okay, what? Is it just bots? Oh no. Alright. There's a little nonsense going on over here. Do that so that the back um, ones have redundant power, but yeah, this is gonna get zapped away. And there you're gonna be okay. Alright. Da na 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 na. That's that. And then we will throw. Oh, that's slightly awkward. Another split over there. I mean, again, it's possible we won't actually have the throughput we're looking for. But we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. You're going to do that. Lovely. And 
then you're just waiting for deliveries for the power and whatnot but you'll be okay and then we'll get more low polymer structures being built a little bit faster because i think that's currently the bottleneck over here it's hard to judge because the backlog uh you are done you have cargo guys it is time it is time we can go and launch our rocket we'll put the auto launch on from now on because we can have this repeat if we get some extra lights around here Look at that. Does this even fly in Kerbal? It looks like it doesn't have any space for fuel in here. Well, I guess it's only launching a little satellite, so those triple silos at the top. There you go, so that is technically a victory. 40 hours I did leave it sitting for a long time idle. Definitely not a very fast win, um, but that's okay. Now the thing is, even though this is technically the win, this is what you're trying to do in Factorio, there is more stuff to do because now we have a thousand science packs in here um, and what we can do and we'll probably just work this with bots because why not is I will put a stack inserter over here as well as a passive provider chest and then just give this some power and now we are unloading space science packs from here and space science packs are used for um, infinitely repeatable science where the hell are you going? Do I already have a request for first space science packs? What? Oh, I, I think I probably do. I think I have a generic um, requester chest for all the science packs um, near our labs, just because in case I had ever dumped anything out of my inventory or whatever. And I think I'd set it up to already accept the uh, the science. Well, let's see. Let's run down here. Ooh, my green circuits are not um, producing quite up to snuff. Or probably they're just being consumed by the other circuit bits or something like that. We will see. There's a little bot. We're racing the bots over to the sciency area. So there's a little requester chest right over here, and I'm betting that's what that is. Yeah, it's requesting all the types of science, including space science packs. Oh, that's not even the right bot. So once it arrives over here, we should start to get that. Purple's a little slow as well. This must all be related to the green science. Just not cutting it. Um, but do you not have enough iron? Oh, what? No, not steel. Iron. Oh, there's a there's a dead part over here. So that's interesting because for a while I was actually suffering with trains being backlogged over here, but now we're actually not getting enough raw iron ore quickly enough. Oh. It's because I made some changes over here to be able to feed some stuff off. That's well, I mean, the trains still weren't there, so they're still they're clearly consuming things fairly quickly, but we should also have this too, because I think it's um, the sides of the trains are a little bit um, off. And I know this not, whole thing isn't blue. The thing is just to try to spill, split off as much as possible onto the blues for the uh, the steel production was the idea. But there you go. White science is now being delivered in here. As soon as we finish the atomic bomb research, which should take a second, and didn't even need white science either. And this is not anywhere close to like the most speed efficient layout for your science. If you really want to burn through science quickly, um, you do a lot more things with beacons and stuff. And this isn't even, they're all just tier one of the um, science. Tech Maniac, research all technologies, woo! So yeah, everything else here is just infinitely repeatable um, and you need space science for it. So uh, priorities could be worker robot speed or also the mining productivity, which makes our current mines last longer. We need 2,500 of these, so we have to launch two satellites. Tell you what, let me just put another worker speed because we only need 1,000 for that first one. Because I think, you know, because we only get so much per rocket launch. But we are going to keep launching these satellites forever. Right. They're, they're collecting all the resources. The satellite, yep, yeah, the satellite is done and ready to go. It's just waiting for another rocket to be done, I think. And then what's being attacked? Something actually off map. Ah! That's a little scary. What's, what's going on here? Let's protect this. We also don't have much vision over here, so let me grab a radar. And... I don't know if it's going to be close enough to anything to be relevant, but let's go and put a artillery cannon over here. Yeah, that'll be able to blast some stuff. Also, we got some more dudes moving over here. But this should be fine. Plus, it's not very far away from the home base to be able to, uh, to repair things. 
but yeah, there you go. There's there's our science packs over here, space science packs, being spread around and shared between the various science bits. Purple's backlog now. Excellent. Let me double check the iron smelting. Yeah, that got uh, right over here. That got fixed up again. Good. Excellent. Wonderful. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's still we're not we can't unload any faster than this. So I guess it's fairly saturated as long as the trains are coming regularly. There you go. So you're going to leave. You're going to come in. Try to avoid any gap in the unloading. There we go. Excellent. And then another iron train coming up there. See, this is what I was expecting. I was like, I'm pretty sure we bring iron ore fairly quickly. And just a dead period there. And then unrelated to that, then there was the uh, the bit over here not quite being complete. Um, we are leaching enough iron off for the steel. And really, we should separate the steel production. Um from the iron production just because yeah it's hurting our saturation levels here but yeah that's not bad uh, that's fully saturated iron over here and more importantly was the saturation of the iron going over to our green circuit production which is still not capped i'm wondering if we want to blue this because it is bottlenecking a little bit you know i think i kind of like the idea um, so this thing is only upgrading red to blues. First, just having this bit upgraded will probably help things flow through to both sides a little bit more evenly. Um, and what I'll do is I'll actually, I'll blue everything. I blue myself. Um, from the bottom part here. Because at the top, the reds are going to be fine. They're never going to get full. Uh, but the blue, well, the uh, the inputs don't really need to be upgraded. But just make sure these end outputs are done. How are we doing on parts? Yeah, we're only short on concrete and some more production modules. Which do need a lot of circuits, so that's part of it. But yeah, we'll let that upgrade. That's going to be fine. Meanwhile, the science is sciencing. Uh, oh, this is on the wrong place. Because it's only that side. Ah, I had not realized that. Um, whoops. Let's, um... Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll just get a series that goes like this. So that the, the white science actually spreads out everywhere. Also, let's change this to that. Grab stacks at a time. There's going to be, like, there could be this back-and-forth wiggle stuff, which will cause some chaos. There we go. Yeah, I was going to say, it's going to settle down at some point. It'd be better to have just fed it in from this side, which I guess I could do, actually. Let me cancel this. Because I was like, there's not really much room, but what we can do... I just have a little underground part. And then I can do that. Let me copy, paste. Oh. Paste. There you go. Do that, and if I just drop all the science into here. So what am I doing with some of these? That's from picking up some various bits along the way, which I don't need. There we go. So now the science, yeah, should appear over here, and will flow in a slightly saner way to cover everything up. Oh, it's still getting blasted. Oh, over here. Hmm. I mean, I'm sure it will be fine. Let me just put in some extra requests over here. This is on the, uh, you know, the edge of our base here, so we can build this up. And I guess this is a different area than the one I was just looking at, actually. And just in case it matters, we'll throw some artillery in over here, too. You're waiting for repairs. You're a little far away, so it's going to be a bit of an issue to fix. But overall, we're going to be okay. How are we doing on our rocket silo launch? The one thing... I don't think there's like a... There's not a progress bar here, so we don't know how how it's gone along. Looks like it's short on control units. Oh, right. Of which I never actually set up... I got ready for like doubling on production. There we go. I'll just do that. That's going to be okay. 
Um, and actually, the second side of the input here isn't done either. So what I have to do here is I have to read out that, grab this, do that, and then do that as well. I mean, it didn't matter that the second side wasn't hooked up because the output wasn't hooked up either. But there you go. So yeah, this just produces very slowly. I mean, they all produce kind of slow. And the, the timing's probably not equalized between the different types of uh, production stuff. Uh, especially since some of it's got to be fed off for this, but that's going to be okay. Let's double up on that. There we go. Go, go, bots. Go, go, bots. You can do it. Go, go, bots. And yeah, not being evenly balanced on both sides of this belt is probably fine, just because um, uh, the they don't we don't produce quickly enough for to truly saturate this belt, so it doesn't actually matter that it's unbalanced. It's going to be fine. All right, so that's flowing again. That's going to start flowing on this side as well. We still have the productivity modules to try to squeeze in some freebies along the way. That's going to start getting developed, and soon enough we'll get a second satellite launch. There we go. Excellent. And that'll give us more science, so that we can keep repeating this forever. But we are going to wrap up this Let's Play here, um, because, well, I mean, we've done it all. It's kind of awesome. Uh, I'll have to play again with like a heavily modded run uh, at some point. Maybe we'll return back to Bobs and Angels. That could happen too. But there we go. Version 17 of Factorio completed. And now we just have infinitely repeatable sciences to work through, um, which is a lot of fun. I'm happy they added that in there. Because if you did want to continue your mega base, if you want to hit the like, I don't know, the 20 bajillion green circuits being made sort of achievement and things like that. So you need a big base. You may as well have like the infinite science um, because uh, yeah, you can keep improving your base over and over and over. I think that's, yeah, this is wraps it up. Folks, thanks for watching this series. Sorry, there was a gap of a few days there as I returned to Canada from Scotland, but uh, I'm very happy, very pleased we've completed this. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm going to see you guys. What is, what is running low here? That's fuel. What's the other category supposed to be? Is that plastic? Oh, it is plastic. Are we short on oil? That's actually probably very likely. And no, we got crude. Light, heavy, petroleum. Oh, 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 coal. Oh my. Yeah, we probably have to set up another coal mine. That's our coal drop off. Um. We had a coal coal pickup over here. That's where it is slowing down. But yeah, so we still have coal deliveries happening. And just encourage this guy. Listen, go there. Luckily, we're not reliant on the coal for our power. And we still have the old assembly. Um, and it's nice to sort of have as like an extra thing, I guess. Although at this point, I'm wondering if we just dismantle all the old power setup because it is consuming coal that we would rather just have for some of our other processes. I'm actually very tempted to do that. Hey, second satellite just went. Woo! Number two. So uh, I think a bunch more will come and be delivered over here shortly. Yeah, on the way, 1,000. So there's probably, like, there's like a 1,000 bots traveling from here to there. Amazing. All right, well, not a 1,000 bots because it can carry more than one thing. Folks, thanks for watching. We're going to wrap it up here, and uh, I'll see you next time. Don't know when the next Factorio series will be. But I'm sure there'll be more in the future because Factory is amazing. Bye-bye.